Hello everyone, this is Elmer from Android Authority, and you're about to see me unbox my new Android camera right here on our YouTube channel. Android is a very powerful and flexible mobile operating system. It can power smartphones, it can power tablets, it can power televisions, it can power watches, and yes, it can power point-and-shoot cameras, such as the Samsung Galaxy Camera EKGC100. I have one right here still inside its sealed box, and I'm very excited to see what's inside. But let me tease myself first by examining the box itself. Here's the top side, showing a picture of the camera. Here's the front side, with just the model name, spec highlights, and Samsung URL. On the opposite side is a catchphrase. It says, Shoot wow, share now. This camera promises to produce excellent photos and allows instant sharing. As this print says, this is no ordinary point-and-shoot camera. It's a smart camera. Here are the left and right sides, just informational and protective stickers here. The bottom side has a list of the camera's main specs. This is a network-capable device, particularly HSPA Plus and Wi-Fi. It has a 4-core processor. Camera resolution is 16 megapixels. Screen diagonal is 4.8 inches just about the same diagonal length as the one in the Galaxy S3. But no Super AMOLED here this time. Instead, the display technology is HD Super Clear LCD. And look at this, it's a jelly bean device. Quite a tease this box, huh? Now let's see what we have inside. Here's the camera unit itself. It's the white variant and looks very classy. It's very beautiful, though I myself am not very fond of Gangnam Style designs, which this phone loudly and proudly has. Here's the housing for the 23mm lens. It's still under the Samsung Galaxy series. Here's the screen, still covered in protective plastic. This is an Android camera. It has a quad-core CPU and uses HD Super Clear LCD technology. We'll take a closer look at this later. Let's see what else is inside the box. Here's a packet containing the user guides and warranty card, and a white wrist strap, which looks like it's made of leatherette. This one's the USB cable for charging and data connection. One end, as you can see, is standard micro USB. Here's the power adapter. You'll need to assemble this first. Here's the battery. It's a slim battery, lithium ion, rated at 1650 mAh. Let's take a closer look at this beautiful piece of Samsung technology. Here's the battery compartment. Let's put the battery in. This one's the micro SIM slot. This one's the micro SD card slot. And this one in the middle is the micro HDMI port. This one's the battery cover lock. This one's the cover for the micro HDMI port. It's not easy to pry open. This one's the tripod socket, so you can screw this camera to a tripod for stability when taking photos. Here's the lens housing with silver border. This can zoom in up to 21 times so you can capture more detail. Here's the Samsung logo and the autofocus assist lamp. Here's the textured grip. It feels a little bit rubbery, so this won't easily slip from the hand. This one's the micro USB port with a cover that's rather hard to pry open. This one's the strap mount for attaching the wrist strap. And this one is the headset jack. At the top, here's the flash assembly. Here's the power button. This one's the zoom button. This is the shutter button. And this one's the microphone hole. On the right side, here's the flash release button. The loudspeaker grill is down here. The flash pops out when you press this button. Alright, let's turn this thing on. We press the power button here. It's booting up. It's gonna take a while because it's the first time to boot up. Here's the setup screen. It's similar to what you'd see in a brand new Android phone from Samsung. It will ask you for your Google account credentials and so on. This camera also has free 50 gigabytes of Dropbox storage. Let's just skip the setup screens for now. Here's the home screen. Whoa, very lovely. Very smooth and very fluid. Look at that. Navigation is very seamless. This camera has Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean. 
which explains the insane smoothness of the interface. The rest of the interface is very much Jelly Bean with Samsung TouchWiz. So if you have a recent Samsung phone, the interface should be familiar and the experience similar. Let's try taking a photo. Wow. Awesome colors. Tap to focus is very quick, but there's some shutter lag of about 1 to 2 seconds. We'll examine more of the interface in our full review, so stay tuned for it. So, this is one of Samsung's newest celebrities. The Samsung Galaxy Camera EKGC100. What do you think of this camera? Share your thoughts and leave a comment. For more Android news and reviews, visit our website. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Elmer from Android Authority. Thanks again for watching. May the light side of the Android Force be with you. <laughs>